up, you know, I'm from Nebraska, so that's a big football state. And, uh, you know, growing up, everyone wanted to you know, get big, play for the Huskers. So started when I was in fourth grade and just played my way through. And about senior year of high school, started looking at places and um, it became apparent that I was going to be a walk-on offer at Nebraska. So uh, and Coach English called me up and uh, said, Lincoln, why don't you come check it out up here? And uh, so he flew down and met me, and then next week I was up there and uh, seeing an Eastern Michigan. So, and uh, ever since then it's been it's been awesome. So it's been home for me. You know, two years ago we won the Michigan MAC Trophy, which is uh, I don't know if you know it's just a trophy between all the MAC schools in uh, Michigan, and uh, we won that, and it was awesome. It was crazy. Um, we had like just the locker rooms blowing up, coaches are crying, everyone's shaking hands, and. I was honestly, I felt like you know, I was, that was probably the hap one of the happiest moments for college football for me. To me, that's two Mac schools uh, fighting it out on the gridiron and uh, uh, just you know, seeing who comes out on top, whether it's uh, points going up like crazy or uh, just a defensive battle, that's some action. Uh, it's, it's ugly in there, I gotta tell you. It's uh, bloody, it's sweaty, it's dirty, but uh, you know, we're in there battling it out, and uh, we, we take pride in what we do in there. We don't get noticed unless we mess up, or, <laughs> but we take pride in what we do down there. It's just, uh, uh, you know, no one sees it, but it's, it's, like I said, it's dirty, but it's, that's where all the action is. Yeah, I can say uh, my first, uh, it was the first year I played, it was my redshirt freshman year, we went to Penn State, and uh, they had a D tackle named Devin Still, who went in the third round to the Bengals. And, uh, First play of the game, he's focused on the guard. I come in and just kill him right in the hip, and he goes down. He gets up and stands over me and says, that's the last time that happens. <laughs> and so the rest of the game is just a battle, and it was, it was fun to play against such a, such a talented player. First time I ever felt small on the football field, just standing next to him, but yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome experience. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, I mean, first and foremost to me, uh, I'm a Christian, so I pray. Uh, that's very important for me. And then um, after that, I just, you know, go have fun. You know, you see some guys get so serious, but, you know, this is a game I love to play. And uh, so I get out there, and uh, I'm joking around. People are looking at me like I'm not taking it seriously, but I'm just out there to have fun and play football. And uh, so other than listening to music and uh, joking around with my teammates, that's, that's about it. So the biggest one is, though, uh, get on a knee and say I'm sorry. Um, it's definitely uh, very mentoring. Um, they uh, they want us to see us progress not just as uh, players but as men, and uh, so that's something that Coach English has always uh, prided himself in: is making us better people, not just better football players. Um, we actually got a new uh, offensive line coach, uh, Coach Brad Wilson, and um, I, I would say my relations my relationship with him is uh, very much the same. Is I'm always trying to learn from him and uh, taking what he has to offer us, but with Coach Paris, the same as well, is that he brings so much experience to the table and uh, all of his experience, just you know, try to soak up as much as I can from them. And it's very, they're very uh, uh, mentoring. Probably the number one thing I could say is uh, soak it in. Like uh, people will say, uh, stop, like, you know, you're a freshman and you're young and you feel like you got five seasons ahead of you if you're red shirt. And, going to be there forever, but I'm already looking down uh, two seasons left, and uh, you know, I wish maybe I hadn't taken for granted the first few.